Cape Town celebrity chef Fatima Sedio has been laid to rest. She passed away yesterday after a battle with cancer. She wrote cookbooks, appeared on TV shows and had a substantial social media following. Yazid Kamaldin reports. Cape Town celebrity chef and author Fatima Sedo is being laid to rest. She passed away yesterday after a battle with cancer. Family and friends have gathered outside her house in Panati Estate for the funeral. I'm now joined by Mishka Daris, a friend and business manager for Fatima Sedo Cooks. Mishka, thank you for joining us today. It's the funeral of your friend and we can actually see behind us the Mitchell Splain Islamic Burial Society has arrived. She's being laid to rest today. What has the response been like to her passing yesterday? An overwhelming response. I think when, as soon as we posted to her social media about her passing, we probably garnered about 6,000 comments you know, within an hour. So we are, as the family and the team of Fatima Saido, extremely grateful for everyone's outpouring of grief, of, pe of prayers, of coming to see her off in her final moments. She needs to be celebrated. She was one of a kind, and we dearly, dearly going to miss her. What do you think made her so endearing to so many? Yes, she was a celebrity, but she also seems to have kept her feet on the ground. Very much so. She was very, very humble, despite everything that she's gone through. And she's had a difficult life. She grew up in, in an impoverished family on the Cape Flats with hardly anything to eat. But she was taught by her mother how to make food and gift it to people who didn't have more than what they had even, or at least rather than what they had. And that's how she continued. Even if you go into the kitchen now of Fatima, yes, she's being laid to rest. But you know what? She gave almost everything away because that is the kind of person that she was. Stayed humble despite almost 200,000 YouTube followers, despite half a million Facebook fans and so many other people of celebrities that are coming to greet, um, of anyone from the Cape Flats that are coming to actually greet her and see her off right now. It's truly, truly a sight worth seeing. She had a TV show and she also published books. And then she would also, of course, invite people into a kitchen at this house. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, so this was the house that she, you know, most of her, that people know of Fatima Saida, this is where she was at. And the kitchen was renovated to accommodate it. I remember though, she was telling me, she started with, you know, one of the small oven stoves with the two plates on. That's how she started um, making and publishing her very first book, um, Fatima Saida Cooks, or Cape Malay Cooking with Fatima Saida. And there on she just grew. So the family now can boast a proud legacy. All her, her father that is still alive and all her siblings and her one brother, they can proudly say Fatima's got four books behind her name. She's got a TV uh, station that she hosted with her twin, uh, Hadija Saido, on um, one of the channels as well. And it was initially just meant to run for one season. It ran for six. And when people finally realized it's coming to an end, I think they were overwhelmed with requests for it to continue. And we know it was just because Fatima was like a motherly figure. She was a nurturer. She was so caring when she did her videos and done with so much passion and so much love.